This fine program is sponsored by Fat Sally's. For the best in Clatchian coffee, try our Red Desert Special. Uh. As drunk by the City Watch. Hello, and welcome, dear viewers, to the fourth instalment of our series, The Tourist Guide to Ankh-Morpork and this world. Today, we shall be undertaking a gastronomic journey exploring the food and cuisine of this world, a topic that will certainly enliven your taste buds. What we have here is a splendid selection of signature dishes for various culinary havens. We shall now taste and rate these delicious morsels for you to help you make the right choices when swinging through Ankh-Morpork's exciting gastronomic jungle. Now, let's take a look at our first dish. <clears throat> this is a curry from Mrs. Arkanums. It's a low-cost meal and is great value, aimed mostly at her more respectable lodges. Main ingredients of this curry are Swede, fresh rainwater tasting sultanas, and the delicious remains of some cold mutton. Ah, mwah, bon appetit. I think that's certainly a bargain. <laughs> now, what we have here deserves a very special mention for our culinary friends out there. Dwarf bread. A baker's delight. We do have a dwarf bread museum here in Ankh-Morpork, dedicated solely to the history of aggressive baking. The ingredients of dwarf bread are often secret, since every dwarf baker has their own special recipe. But generally, flour, water, grit, gravel, and organic stone ground stones are all in there somewhere. A single loaf contains all you will need to sustain you for days. Would you be so kind as to try a piece for our dear audience, so they can be assured of its tasteful delight? Come on. There you have it. Dwarf bread. Delicious. Now, there is one gastronomic eatery that is a must-visit on your holiday with us. Famed for the sheer originality of its menu, it's a place that combines culinary discovery with a rollicking good time. Join me now as we visit the legendary Broken Drum. swine in this place. Well, we have come here today to give you, the viewer, a first-hand experience of the drum's legendary status as the most famous tavern on Discworld. Get this in the kitchen. Particularly interesting for you, our viewer, we would like to give you a sense of the flavour of the drum, famed not only for its unique menu and warm beverages, but also for its clientele and atmosphere. Ouch! Nice one, mate. <laughs> Good shot, there. Eh? <laughs> one of the great things about the drum is that it's a pub for the whole family. A woman can happily spend the evening here without being molested. Unless that's her intention. Many different folk come here 
can get a bit rough sometimes, but people murder each other in an easygoing manner, with a sense of equality. <laughs> I would like to point out that um, running away from the drum is a, a vital part of the evening's entertainment. <laughs> and here's one for all you cost-conscious travellers out there. It enhances one's fitness for virtually no cost. Absolutely free. What a place. Well, thank you very much for joining us for another episode of A Tourist Guide to Ankhmore Pork and Discworld. Join us next time when we will be discussing the various inhabitants of this world. But for now, it's goodbye. And until next time. <laughs>